In this video we are going to create the windshield for the T9 Automoblox project. Go ahead and make a new part file, save as into your T9 folder, and you can call the part windshield. So this is what we're going to make. Take a look at my browser, you can see all the things that I've gone ahead and done. And let's go ahead and start off with a sketch in the front plane. So I'm going to go start 2D sketch click on my front plane and then we want to create a sketch like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a line 3.04 then I'm going to draw a construction line up 0.64 and then just draw it um, across 3.01 and then I'm going to draw another construction line one inch up, draw that over 2.55 and then I can start creating the three arcs. There's one here, another one here, and another one here. Notice the tangent constraints, that's very important that we do that when we get to that part of the sketch. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go line from here and I'm going to go to the right we said 3.04 then I'm going to hit escape to get out of that tool I'm going to move that dimension down I'm going to go and draw actually I'm going to draw a one inch line here so I'm going to go one and then pull that out that should be in the construction layer then I'm going to draw a line off of that just don't snap to the midpoint and this one's going to go over 3.01 and that should also be construction and then I'm going to move this dimension up and I want to dimension this one from here to here that should be 0.64 and then I'm going to draw another construction line from the end of the one inch line right here and I'm going to go to the left 2.55 hit escape move that up this should also be in the construction layer so we got one object line and then we have two constru horizontal construction lines with length uh, width dimensions I'm sorry and some height dimensions alright now we can draw our arcs so I'm going to go ahead and go to the arc tool and the first one I'm going to draw is going to be from here to the two, end of the 2.55 line and then now I'm determining the radius and the radius of that one was 6 I'm going to hit a... actually no, I'm going to stay in the arc tool let's do the next one which is going to be, so I'm going to left click here left click here, now what I want you to do is just make sure you see the tangent. Don't worry about, and actually, you know what? Don't even, don't do that yet. Just left click somewhere out here. Don't worry about the size, and then hit escape. We're going to just use the tangent constraint. Tangent, click this arc, click this arc. Okay. Now I need to draw the last arc from there to there, so I'm going to go arc from here to here. And then I'm just going to left click somewhere out here. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to go tangent from there to there. So now I have that other tangent constraint. And we are fully constrained. If you right click and show all your constraints, you can see we got our tangents. I didn't need to put the radius of these arcs because the tangent and those con or the tangent constraints locked everything down for me. So I'm going to right click and hide all my constraints. I can finish the sketch and then we are going to extrude and we are going to extrude 2.55. The depth of that is 2.55 so I'm going to extrude. I'm going to go the other way 2.55. There we go. And then I need to add in some fillets and those fillets 
have a radius of 0.5 and there's three of them the left edge the right edge and then this back edge up here so when I say 0.5 yep so I'm gonna go fill it changing my radius to 0.5 I'm gonna click this edge click this edge and actually there's only two edges that you're clicking I apologize I'm gonna say okay and now that looks good next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shell this and the shell if you look the shell is 0 0.07 so I'm gonna go shell tool 0 0.07 click on this but I want to orbit down because I want to remove this bottom face so if you notice remove face is highlighted blue I want to remove this bottom one so I could see down in it uh, what's going on here let's try that again shell oh there we go I just had to click that first so I clicked that bottom face I said okay and now I've shelled it out and I removed that bottom face so you can see down in there I'm gonna go ahead and click save really quick so I don't lose my work and now we're gonna go create this rectangular um, shape which is this piece which is where it actually slides into the passenger section which kinda locks it in in place so to do that we need to create a rectangle that is 1.54 by 1.97 so let's go ahead and do that so I'm gonna go start 2d sketch I'm gonna orbit underneath make sure you click on this face make sure yours is orientated the same way as mine notice the bottom is kinda upside down you know make sure that if you have to turn this thing you know make sure that yours is orientated the same way I'm gonna use the rectangle tool and we said it is 1.54 by 1.97 uh, actually I got those numbers mixed up this should be 1.97 and this should be 1.54 there we go and then I'm just gonna move this thing just by clicking and dragging kinda get it in close proximity to where I want and then I need some location dimensions so off of this left edge is 0.82 so from here to here 2 and then from Wait, something doesn't look right there. Oh, I did have those numbers right. I gotta reverse these again. Whoops. So this should be 1.54. 4, and then the other one is 1.97. Getting all mixed up here. 1.97. There we go. Okay, and then we need to do a location dimension from here to the bottom edge, which is um well it's 0.29 so it's going to be the same on both sides so 0.29 and there we go now the other thing I want to do is I'm going to teach you a new tool and it's called an offset we're going to offset that rectangle in 0 0.05 so I'm going to go do an offset click on the rectangle notice I'm offsetting the rectangle I can either go in or out we want to go in and I'm gonna type in 0 0.05 so now I just offset that in 0 0.05 I'm gonna finish the sketch now I'm gonna do an extrude now we're also gonna do something new here you wanna make sure you click on that right there and I wanna go the other direction but instead of typing in a distance I want you to just go to next and then click OK. So that's really cool because the height right here is different than right here, but it just goes all the way up to next to that top face up here, which is really nice. Okay, so that's the upper portion that's inside of the windshield there, but there's also a portion that kind of gets extruded down. So that's really simple. So all we need to do is do a new sketch on this face 
and we're going to use something called project geometry. So I'm going to click on project geometry and I'm going to click uh, right there. I'm going to project all of those faces or all those edges I should say from the existing model. Then I'm just going to hit finish sketch. So instead of redrawing all that, dimensioning it, I just did project geometry. And now I'm going to extrude, click that face, and how far are we going down? That distance is 0 0.67. 0 0.67. I'm going to say OK. That's looking good. Go ahead and hit save. And the next thing that we're going to do is add in those tiny little squares that you see right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, and right here. I believe there's what, two, four, six of them. And what those do, it's kind of for like a force fit, so that way when you slide it into the T9 uh, passenger section, it's nice and tight and it stays in there, it doesn't just fall out. That's what those little squares are for. And you'll notice there is a detail view over here telling you how big they are, so they're 0 0.05 by 0 0.05. And then these ones are located 0.25 off of the edge. So 0.25 in, 0.25 in, same thing here, same thing here. But then these two in the middle are 0.96 down. So let's go ahead and make those. So I'm going to do a new 2D sketch on this bottom face again. Make sure you click the face there, right there. Make sure that yours is orientated the same way as mine. You may have to use those arrows. And then we're going to go rectangle. I am going to click along this upper, and actually, you know what, I'm going to hit escape. Let's project geometry of this outside rectangle. So I'm just clicking all the edges. So you see all my yellow lines I just projected because I want to reference those when I go draw this. I'm going to go rectangle now. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm just going to left click here. Whoops, I wanted to, I want to reference this line, so I'm making sure I'm on it. There we go. And I'm going to go 0 0.05 tab, 0 0.05 enter. So I got some dimensions, and then I'm going to go dimension off of the edge, which is 0 0.25. And now that's fully constrained. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to draw some construction lines, and I'm simply just going to go from midpoint to midpoint, click on that, change it to construction, do the same thing again, but going horizontally, midpoint, midpoint, turn that to a construction line. I'm going to be using those to do some mirroring. So I'm going to mirror this square across this construction line to this side, and then I'm going to mirror those two down across this construction line. So let's go mirror. I'm going to select, I'm going to click and drag a red box around that. Click on mirror line, click my construction line, hit apply. There we go. Then I'm going to do a select again. I'm going to drag a box around both of those. Mirror line, click on this horizontal line, hit apply. And now you see that you got them down there as well. So I'm going to hit done. I still have to add in the one right here and the one right here. And I'm going to go rectangle. I'm going to snap to this edge. 0 0.05, tab 0 0.05, enter. And then we need one location dimension. What was that? 0.96 off the edge. Dimension from here to here. 0.96, that's good. So now I'm going to mirror again, mirror tool, select this, click mirror line, click my vertical construction line, hit apply, and done. So now I have my six rectangles and everything's fully constrained. I'm sorry, six squares. So I'm going to finish the sketch. I'm going to go to extrude. And I'm going to click on each one of those little squares.
and I'm going to change the direction and again we're going to next and then I'm going to say okay so now I got those and the last thing we need to do is add some fillets under here and those fillets are you see 4x radius 0.15 so I'm going to go into here, let's go fill it, and let's change this to 0.15, whoops, 15, I'm going to click on this corner, this corner, this one, and this one, so you get those four corners, and then I'm going to hit apply, say OK, close that out. And then the last thing I want to do is add in some materials. So we're going to go ABS plastic. But for this, we're going to switch to clear. So I'm going to scroll. Now you can pick if you want to go blue, green, or yellow. Don't go with this light one. I'm going to choose blue. But pick, uh, pick one of those colors for clear. So either the blue, the green, or the yellow. Totally up to you. And then let's update our eye properties. Close, scoot this over. Window Shift S, let's screen clip into our binder right above the picture here. And then you'll get your pro um, progress points for doing this model for the project. And that's it.